Welcome to Anywhere Math, I'm Jeff Jacobson, and today we're going to talk about ratios and rates. Let's get started. Okay, today's lesson on ratios and rates is going to be a little more advanced uh, than the previous lesson. If you're new to ratios and rates, check out this video up here. That's one I did earlier, and that's kind of covering the basics of ratios and rates. Okay, before we get into our first example, just a quick recap on ratios and rates and unit rates. So first, a ratio. That's just a way of comparing two quantities. You don't have units, uh, and there's three ways you can write it. We could write it, if we were doing the ratio of three to four, we could write three to four, Spelling it out, we could write 3 to 4 like that with a colon, or we could write it as a, as a fraction, where 3 would be in the numerator and 4 would be in the denominator. Those are all ratios. And now rates, those are ratios of two quantities, but they have different units. So for example, uh, instead of just 3 to 4, I could say uh, 3 kilometers to 4 hours. Okay. Or again, I could write it this way, 3 kilometers to 4 hours, or as a fraction, 3 kilometers every 4 hours. With rates, the most common way to see it is like a fraction. When we're doing rates, most of the time they're going to write it as a fraction. Now last, unit rate. Unit rate is a special kind of rate where the denominator is 1. So if you look here... If we write it as a fraction, the denominator is 4. That's why this is just a rate and not a unit rate. But common unit rates are things like if you go to the grocery store and they say, you know, the meat is $3.25 per pound. That's per one pound, right? So that would be a unit rate. Or a speed, 60 miles per hour. We would write that as 60 miles per one hour. That's a unit rate. The denominator is 1. Um, so that's just a quick recap. Let's get to our first example. Okay, example 1. Use the graph to find the speed of a subway car. So if we look at this graph, the title is speed of a subway car. The uh, y-axis is distance in miles. The x-axis is time in minutes. And if you look at that line, it's straight. Now what that means, that line is showing the speed. And because it's a straight line, it means the speed is constant. The speed's not changing. If the line was like this, and then like this, and then like this, and then like that, then the speed's changing all the time. But because it's a straight line, means that that speed is constant. And that's important because what that allows us to do is pick any point on that line and use that point to be able to find the speed. It doesn't matter which point we choose. Because it's a straight line, it's always going to be the same. The speed will always be the same along that line. So we can choose any point we want. Uh, let's just choose that first point. That first point is 1 half, 1 fourth. And if we look, this is the x coordinate. And like we said earlier, on the x axis, that's the time. And this is the y, and that is the distance. Now to find speed, you need to know, well, how do we find speed? And speed is pretty simple. If you think of speeds like miles per hour or kilometers per hour, it's just calculated by the distance, distance traveled over the time, the time it takes to go. So when someone says 60 miles per hour, that means it takes, it takes one hour to go 60 miles. So here is our little formula for speed. Here's our, our data point. This is what we're going to use. So distance, one-fourth. So I'm going to put that in the numerator divided by time, which is one-half. One-fourth divided by one-half. Now we need to simplify. This right here is a special kind of fraction. If you notice, it, it looks weird because you have a fraction within a fraction. And we call this, um, I'll write it here, a complex fraction. That's a complex fraction. When you have a fraction within a fraction. But to solve it or to simplify it, 
it's really quite simple. So if I remember, this line right here means division. So this is one fourth divided by one half. Well, dividing by a fraction, one fourth divided by one half, dividing by a fraction is the same thing as multiplying by its reciprocal. So I can rewrite this as one fourth times two over one. And if I simplify that, that's gonna give me one half, and the units are miles per minute. So there is my speed. Let's try another example. All right, example two. Write the ratio as a fraction in simplest form. So here we have some ratios. Uh, they're not written as fractions, so we gotta do that first. Remember, we can do that with ratios. So 63 to 28, I'm gonna write that as 63 over 28. Remember the first number, that goes in your numerator. Uh, and now I just have to simplify. Well, common factor of 63 and 28, uh, seven would be a common factor. So if I divide by seven, divide by seven, I would get nine over four. They want it as a fraction in simplest form. That's a fraction, I won't change it to a mixed number, and that is in simplest form. Part B, two and one third feet to four and a half feet. Now here we've got mixed numbers, so my first step is going to change them to improper fractions. Uh, so this becomes 7 thirds. I don't need the feet anymore because we're just doing a ratio. We're just doing the quantities, so no units. 2, 9 halves, and again I'm going to write that as a fraction. 7 thirds over 9 halves. That's a complex fraction again, fraction within a fraction. That just means 7 thirds divided by uh, 9 halves, and that is the same thing as 7 thirds times the reciprocal, which is 2 ninths. Nothing to simplify there, unfortunately, so 7 times 2 is 14, and 3 times 9 is 27. And there are no common factors there, so that is in simplest form. Here's some to try on your own. All right, example three. Find the unit rates. So 21 and 3 fourths meters to two and a half hours. Notice we have different units, which is important for rates. Um, and for a unit rate, this needs to become one hour instead of two and a half. So what I'm gonna do first is I don't want to deal with mixed numbers. You could change these to decimals, that would be easy. Uh, but I'm gonna change them just to improper fractions. So this is gonna become 87 over four uh, meters to five halves hours. And now I'm gonna rewrite this as a complex fraction, 87 fourths divided by five halves. And now I'm just gonna do that division, just simplify. 87 fourths divided by 5 halves, which is the same thing as multiplying by 2 fifths. Simplify there, simplify there, and I get 87 over 10, which is really nice because I'm just going to change that to a decimal. 8.7, and now i got to remember my units. This is 8.7 in the numerator, right? When we simplify that, that becomes... Uh, my first number, 8.7 meters per one hour. And there is my unit rate for A. Now let's look at B. Seven kilometers to 0 0.25 hours. Now with this one, again, I'm gonna write it seven kilometers over 0 0.25 hours. Now remember the goal is to get this denominator to one. So instead of dividing, I could divide by 0 0.25, uh, but instead of doing that, there's a little trick, maybe you're noticing it. If I multiply this by four, that would give me to one hour. And if I, anything I do to, to the denominator, I should do the same thing to the numerator to make sure it stays equivalent. So a quick little tip here is just multiply by four over four, which is gonna give me 28 kilometers per one hour. And there is my Unit right there. Here's some more to try on your own. As always, thank you so much for watching, and if you like this video, please subscribe.